What's going on, everybody? This Mission Possible. I want to speak a word of encouragement to our youth. Listen, don't let your past determine your future. If God has decreed something over your life, if you walk in his ways, if you have faith in his word, he can bring that to pass. The word said, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Today made history for me as a man of God, as a um, man that's in the um, striving to do my music and, and do TV and radio broadcasting. I just came home from prison last year, it was gone 14 years. God spoke to me and told me to go to school for TV and radio broadcasting. That was on my daughter's birthday, April the 2nd. That July, this film crew, downtown Illinois Media School, came to film my outside festival that I had. A year later, July 25th, a year later, on the date, I started my first day of school at Illinois Media School downtown. A few months later, today made history. DJ Farley, king of house music, asked me to come and help play at the service for um, DJ Casper, he passed away. God rest his soul. So today I was able to do praise and worship and bless the people in song and in ministry. And it's nothing but the grace of God. This was televised all over the world. It was streaming live, ABC Channel 7. They even televised it in Chicago. That was the blessings of the Lord. He said he'll open a door that no man can shut. And listen, not only that, my school allowed me to be able to use the camera today. So I want to give out a shout to Tinker and the boss lady and, and the administrator at school at Illinois Media School downtown. Thank you for the opportunity to be able to showcase my talent and to be able to move forward with my life and my destiny. So I'm saying all this not to lift myself up, but I'm saying this to encourage somebody. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning. And he worked all things after the counsel of his own will and all the promises of God in him is yes and amen. So I'm encouraging you, you young people. You don't have to stay where you at. You don't have to stay in this depression. You don't have to stay on these drugs. You don't have to stay in this alcohol. You don't have to stay in these unhealthy relationships. If you follow the Lord Jesus Christ, he said those that sow in tears, you may be crying, shall reap in joy. He's able to save you to the uttermost. He's able to change your mind, change your heart, change the course of your life. And I decree right now in the name of Jesus that you will come forth and be who God called you to be. God is calling this Joshua generation, the generation that's going to go in and take the promise by force. The kingdom of heaven suffered violence, but the violent take it by force. I'm encouraging you people, young people to walk by faith and not by sight. God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can ask or think according to the power that will within us. This is the power of God. This is the favor of God for me to be able to have this. They don't give this out like this. To let no students use this on the weekend, but the favor of the Lord, the blessings of the Lord make it rich and it add no sorrow. So I'm encouraging you. I'm standing with y'all young people. Let's be about the father's business. Let's be about God's business. If you don't know about the Lord, ask the Lord to come into your heart. He was able to save you. He will give you a spirit and then he will set you on a course of your purpose. He told us not to be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. I'm praying for y'all. I'm praying heavily for y'all. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man in very much. We're going to stand together and we're going to be who God called us to be. In Jesus' name, I love y'all. Amen.